really nice when God allows us to see the fruit that he generates when we plant the seeds of truth in our communities. Here to tell you her story is Uma Morathy from San Jose, California. She and her husband attend Sunnyvale International Church. They have two sons, Isaac and Ivan. So Uma, please come and share your story. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Gideon's International, for organizing this and for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share about his story in my life. May he increase and I decrease. Well, my name is Uma, and God has given me a new name, Esther. And it's not the same testimony that I'm going to share with you, which I did in Modesto in 2019. But God has multiplied his testimonies in my family and it's going to be an addition today, a new addition which you will definitely relish and enjoy what God has done and glorify his name. So I hail from Chennai, India and I was born and brought up in a very orthodox Hindu Brahmin family. And I was the last daughter among the four daughters in my family and when I was a Hindu, I was such a staunch Hindu Brahmin that every day I used to go to the temples and worship those idols. I used to do a lot of ritualistic things and I used to sacrifice and do a lot of physical sacrifices to those idols. And you can never see my forehead without the vermilion saffron which the Hindus keep. And it was so pious I felt. I felt that I was from a very upper caste and I was so proud but I never had the peace in my heart. I was searching for holiness to the holy God but I never found that. And the best part of it is when we were in India we had the opportunity to go to Christian convent schools and that's where the door opened. It's not because the Christian convent but how God met me there. So when I was studying in that convent school, I was surrounded with a lot of Christian friends. And every day we used to have the school assembly. And we used to know the Lord's prayer by heart. And we used to hear the word of God and everything over there. But nothing actually influenced me or changed me. Because when my sister was in 10th grade, I was in 1st grade in the same school. And nothing changed any one of us over there. But I want to stress this more because these days, you know, they say that Christians convert others. That's not true because I'm a living proof because no man can convert another man. Conversion is not a compulsion. It is a conviction of the heart. And when I was a small child, you know, the Gideons used to come to our Christian convent school and they used to distribute these small, tiny, pocket-sized Bibles to all the children. At that time I was in first grade, I suppose it was 1985 when I first received this small tiny Gideon Bible and I was so fascinated with this small Bible because it was so tiny that it would fit into my small hands and I always used to keep it in my uh, uniform pocket, pocket and I used to keep running around with it. And uh, just because I like literature a lot, I just simply started reading the Psalms and the Proverbs not knowing the exact meaning of it, but I simply used to read it. And days went on and the school organized for a scripture union camp. At that time I was 12th grade and I just went to the camp to have fun with my friends. First two days of the camp I was just having fun. The third day in the camp, what happened was a sister shared a small message in the group and she sh shared from Isaiah chapter 44 that we cut wood from a tree and one part of the wood we make an idol and we worship it and the other part of the wood we are actually using it as firewood for cooking. So we are actually worshipping the created object and not the creator. So if you have brains, think and see. She just pointed out to me in front of the whole crowd not knowing that I was a Hindu and she said, if you have brains, think and see. So that night was a sleepless night because as a teenager I felt so bad in front of all my friends and I couldn't sleep and out of curiosity just to go and fight with that sister the next day, 
I opened the Bible and for the first time I started reading the book of Isaiah from the Old Testament out of curiosity to just fight but as I was reading you know what happened I don't know what happened but the Holy Spirit just transformed me and for the first time in my life I got to know that the true living God hates idol worship I cannot compress this omnipresent God and make him into a statue or an object and worship him and say that you are God I can't worship what I make from my hand and I got to know the most important second thing was that this God of the Bible wants to have a personal relationship with me when I was a Hindu I used to worship a thousand gods it is said that in Hinduism there are 33 crows of gods and I used to worship so many gods for each and everything but none of those gods wanted to have a personal relationship with me in my life but the God of the Bible wanted me to have a personal relationship with him and I can call this God our father my dad my own father I can share with him anything as I am and the third most important thing that I got to know is that this God of the Bible does not require any sacrifices because when I was a Hindu I used to do a lot of ritualistic sacrifices I used to dip myself into Ganges I need not do that anything I need not go climb the Himalayas I need not go to the river Ganges and dip for holiness to wash away and cleanse my sins but this God sacrificed himself on the cross of Calvary while I was still a sinner so this changed my life I can just go to him as I am he does not expect my physical uncleanliness he expects only my heart a broken heart that's what this God wants so that day I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior when I was in 12th grade <laughs> praise God and through it all life wasn't so easy a Christian life isn't so easy the path is so narrow so difficult I had to go through a lot of persecutions my family could not accept my faith because I could not hide the light you see it reflects so the family did not accept me they used to throw the Bibles away in my house and most of the days the restrooms were the prayer rooms for me but I'm just telling this for God's glory because my parents who once persecuted me are now in the Lord that's the addition of the testimony I should say praise God so the Lord blessed me in my education the Lord healed my tongue tie once I used to be stammering but now I'm speaking in front of 2,000 people I suppose and the Lord made me a lecturer in a college I was teaching children I was serving the Lord and the Lord blessed me in my marriage since we were Hindus my parents could not accept a Christian but she said my parents said especially mom she said that if the person is just like you who's a converted Christian who's still a vegetarian from a Hindu background we will accept that bridegroom and God gave me that person my husband is right now in California watching this and God blessed me with a nice believer husband from the same background and I'm blessed with two children and the Lord brought me to the US as a missionary just not for a job but to share God's word to the world and when I left India and I came to the US I just left the small Bible in the upper room in my house in India where my parents are right now living and I said Lord I cannot share my testimony to them because they are against my faith and I cannot convert them because no man can convert but I believe that your word is alive and I'm leaving this small little Bible because I can't leave a bigger one in the room they might throw it so I hid this Bible right on top of a shelf and I just came saying that you are there but I am not there Lord and I came here to the US and I totally forgot about the Bible but I was praying for my parents salvation and one day when I was feeling down in spirit I called my dad and I was sharing something you know that I'm worried and I'm going through something and you know something what he did he quoted scripture verses from the Bible and he said that Jesus is with you though we are not there your God is there he's a living God and he did so many miracles in the Bible and I asked my dad dad how do you know this because you were against Christianity you were against the Bible how do you know scripture verses he said 
uh, one day, you know, I was feeling lonely. He's actually now 80 years, but when this happened, he was 77 years. And one day, he said, I was lonely. I just went to the upper room trying to take some things away, and I found this small little Bible in the shelf. And out of curiosity, I just started opening this. And I just started reading this, and I couldn't stop it. And I asked Dad, Dad, you can't read the newspaper because you said the letters are so tiny. But then how did you read the letters in the small little Bible? And he said, I couldn't read the newspaper so well, but this Bible, I was able to read. I don't know how. It is the Holy Spirit. Praise God for that. And now he's finished the New Testament, and I got him a bigger letter Bible, and he started reading the Old Testament. And every day he sends me verses saying that this particular verse and this promise through this God spoke to me. Every day he's sending it to me. And my mom was against this. And she said, you keep this Bible business with you and your daughter. Don't bring that Bible business to me. This is what she said before the COVID. And during the pandemic, God touched my mom. My mom, who was against all this during the pandemic, fear struck. At that time, I had an opportunity to share about God's love and the courage and the encouragement that the word gives. I just shared with her Psalm 91, and I just did it once. And after that, the word of God did everything. The word of God got into her heart. And she says that Jesus is Lord and she is proclaiming this truth to all the Hindu relatives and she meditates on Psalm 91 every day and till this day though the next door neighbor died because of COVID or anyone else died on the street and relatives died my parents are still alive and safe the word of God made them protected them, and they are safe right now as a testimony in India. Praise God for that. Amen. Praise God. So this is the addition of the new testimony, in which happened in 2021 during the pandemic. And God has used the COVID to change a lot of people in India. Now there is a revival happening and many people who are against Christianity, against our faith are coming to us for prayers. God is good. It is all about him. It's not about me. No man can convert anyone. I was not there with my parents. I couldn't convert them. But the word of God was there with my parents. The word of God is alive and active. Nothing else is so sharper than this word. The word of God is sharper than a double-edged sword. Only God can do it. Only his word can do it, not me. Praise God. May he increase and I decrease. As for me and my household, we will worship the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.